Okay, um, thank you, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, in my supplementary questions, I want to talk about the definition of affordable in terms of intermediate rent um, in the draft housing strategy. Um, and just to be very clear, I'm not here to have a go at you about this. Um, these are going to be very constructive questions, Mr. Mayor. Um, I, think, I think the problem is that London has a problem. Um, I know you just said so again, you hate the 80% of market rates definition as much as I do, and I suspect I'd be having similar problems as you if I was mayor dealing with this. I think the problem's pretty clear. You've put into your strategy in section 4.1b a bullet point that covers London living rent homes, and that's a very good definition of affordable in terms of wages. But there's also a bullet there that, that says a range of other types of intermediate rented homes, and it references a £60,000 income. And then in the glossary, we've got the definition of affordable rent, which is the definition from the government, from the MPPF, which says not more than 80% of the local market rent. So your housing strategy is not a new planning policy yet, but my worry is if that definition makes it through into the London plan, we'll have a, a loophole, developers will use it, and outside your funding streams, that's what we'll mainly see in private developments. So I want to be constructive and see what we can do about this. Um, is this 80% of market definition of affordable rent in the housing strategy at the government's insistence or just based on what's in the MPPF? Have you actually discussed it with them and tried to change it? So, so firstly, the draft ha housing strategy is a draft ha housing strategy, so please do respond to the consultation. Mm -hmm. And we're encouraging everyone to respond to the uh, consultation. It's a meaningful uh, consultation. Secondly, um, I think the government deserves credit uh, for not being insistent on all the affordable homes being 8% market value or starter homes. If you remember the conversation we were having during the mayoral election, was the government saying a starter home of £450,000 was affordable and rent 8% market value. To give the previous House of Minister, Gavin Barwell, credit, um, he was flexible in definition. The three definitions we got through in relation to the deal we made was uh, one where it's a uh, London living rent, a third of average earnings, and that by definition will change in different parts of London. Secondly, shared ownership, and there's, there's no concerns around how much the income should be for shared ownership. And third, a social rent, which is a, the formula based on manual workers. So the flexibility is there, it, um, but the spectrum we're given is, is what's affordable across London. Yeah, I mean, if I can clarify, though, that what you're talking about there is the funding deal that you did with government. Um, the, the Tory conference announcement about new housing funds, which I think you also talked to the government about this week, um, they do seem to be suggesting that even they're losing faith in market rates as a measure of affordability. Their policy was specifically to put more social homes into areas with very high market rents. Do you think, in terms of changing the planning policies, that maybe gives us an opening? Um, what I'm sort of really asking is what we can do as an assembly, what Londoners can do to try and help you campaign to get this definition changed. I think it's really, the implications are really serious. If you've got £60,000 a year, you still can't afford a, a family home, even with that kind of salary. To, to rent or buy? To rent. To rent. So, so in, in the rental market, we're doing a number of things to try and stabilise the increases in the rental market in London. I'm talking about planning policies, though, only. I mean, is this something... But planning can reduce the rent. So, so the idea is if we reduce the value of land by the viability team, okay. uh, if we use the revolving fund to help assemble land, that hopefully bring down the land. The other thing some innovative councils are doing, like Islington, are using planning briefs to try and deflate the value of yeah. land going through the roof. Really, I'm really out of time, I'm really sorry. Um, this has actually started to be quite a good discussion. I'm waiting for a, a date for a meeting with you since the June Mayor's Question time when, right. we, when we talked about estates. I wonder if I can get that date soon and we can sure. discuss this more. We'll sort that. I'll chase it up, Chair.